Now on the subject of Konami and the Super Nintendo, you can't mention the Super Nintendo and Konami without bringing up the Castlevania series. Now Castlevania 4 for the Super Nintendo was really a gigantic quantum leap in, in the series' evolution up until that point. Now typically you had control of Simon Belmont and you were sort of, you know, whipping things and the usual sort of, you know, deal. But what they did with Super Castlevania 4 here is they actually improved the gameplay by incorporating sort of whipping manipulation tricks. Now typically all you could do is this sort of whipping action, but then they incorporated this, where you could actually dangle and, and sort of have free roaming control over the whip. Now this sort of seems like a novelty, but what it did is it actually gave a sort of freeform element to the game by allowing the gamer to sort of really accent his, his, his play style by sort of showing off and, and, and using these sort of whip tricks to sort of manipulate uh, the character and really, you know, put your own personal signature on your style of play. Now aside from simply having this sort of new entry into the game series, Super Castlevania 4 was really an incredibly solid title. Now Super Castlevania 4 had you controlling Simon Belmont and as usual, you know, facing Dracula and going through various stages. And what it did is it took the usual levels that you saw in Castlevania and really brought them into the 16-bit era. And, and it was really just, for anybody who remembers playing it back then, just way ahead of its time in terms of overall level design and, and just polish.